everyone, thank you for joining me again today. Um, we're going to do some brush -o backgrounds today. I just wanted to show you um, a different way of creating wonderful backgrounds using the brush -os, but in their sort of dry state and then spritz with water. So I picked a few different colours here. I would only ever sort of recommend two, three colours really. Um, you know, if we start putting on four or five colours, it can go a little bit muddy, a bit brown. And then your card becomes very saturated as well. So try and pick just a couple of colours and work with those. Okay, so I'm going to, this is a sunburst lemon. And what should we pick? Um, maybe a terracotta and maybe a green. We'll do it an olive green. I don't actually know uh, how they're going to turn out, but um, let's give it a go anyway. So you can either spritz your card first with water, or you can put your brush -o on and then spritz with water. There's no sort of you know rule as to how you do it. Um, so we can do it both ways. So I'm going to just put some water down and then let's pop a bit of colour down. A bit of terracotta. And you can see it's like they're like explosions of colour, like um like fireworks. It's quite incredible actually. Okay, so now I'm going to just carry on spritzing with water and just simply move the card about. Okay, so I would now just leave that to the side for it to dry and then go back to it obviously uh, to stamp onto. So if you create your backgrounds first, if you create a number of different backgrounds and then the following day you can then use those to stamp onto. So um, that, that's one example anyway. Let's do some other ones. Okay, so it's quite a, a messy way of uh, creating your backgrounds um, so you'll have to you know put um, some coverage on your table and everything because you can get into a bit of a mess which is probably typical of me anyway um, okay so this time I'm going to sprinkle the brush on dry and then spread so let's just see what happens um, so I've got um, gam I'm not sure how you pronounce that, gamboge, <clears throat> I think. Anyway, there we go. So we've got a little of that. I'm going to put a bit of purple on. And let's do a little bit of leaf green as well. And you can see I haven't actually put that much on at all. You don't need an awful lot. So let's go with... Add in the water now and just see how that comes to life. Purple's quite a strong colour so I'm going to put more water on that just to dilute it. You can see how that changes now. Okay, so I wouldn't say it's that much different, to be honest, whether you put the dry on first or the water on first. So again, just leave that to dry. Don't worry about these white areas if you miss anywhere. We can then use a smoothie. Okay, when this is dry, we use a smoothie and we just cover those areas in a different colour. So as I say, don't worry about that.
Okay. So let's have a look at what other colours we've got. I love this one, this is ultramarine. It doesn't need an awful lot of anything else, to be honest. Um, it's got so many other colours in it. I'll show you now. Look at that, that's quite an amazing blue. It's sort of got purple in there as well. I do think it works quite nice with yellow. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that down and just spritz with that. Kind of gives us a bit of a blue green. But you can see the amazing backgrounds it can give you just by moving it around. Let it just sort of drip off. And as I say, if the colour is really strong, just spritz a little bit more water onto it. You do need a really good quality card though. Um, I'm using the 330 uh, GSM Multifarious, which takes quite a lot of water. Um, and I think that's, that's quite important because if you use a thinner card, it can go quite translucent. Um, so... Yeah, a good a good thick quality card is 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 good. Okay, so let's have a look at what else we've got. What other colours? Let's try um, a yellow ochre, and let's have a blue in there as well. Let's see what this comes out like. That's quite nice. And you know, you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to move that around. You could leave it like that. Just experiment, um, have a bit of fun with it. Another nice thing to do, I've got some micas, some of our, um, the mica minerals we've got. This is a copper and you can just literally pick up a little of this as well and just put a little bit of that on as well and that gives it a really nice shimmer uh, i'm hoping you can kind of see that under the camera but it's quite a nice effect that i quite like the micas mixed in with the brusho so again, let's see what that dries like. And you can see how quick and how easy it is to create these backgrounds. So you can, you can do quite a few of them. You know, just sit there for half an hour, create your backgrounds, let them dry, and then you've got your background ready to stamp onto. So I hope that's sort of helpful in some way and um, I'm going to let those dry and I'm going to be stamping on them later. Okay, thanks guys, bye for now.